Hi guys, this is Cyanide from RC Sparks. Um, today I'm going to show you the sound unit I'm putting into uh, Project Fat Betty. And um, originally I was going to use um, the Cyanide uh, sound unit version 1.0. Uh, that one goes a little bit like this. Vroom, 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 vroom. And, well, as you can tell, yeah, not that good. So, I decided to get a uh, sound unit from Germany. It's a, uh, this little bastard over here. Tiny. Um, yeah. That is a servo next to the sound module. Give you an idea of the footprint. Uh, it's a, um, excuse me if I get this wrong, Thomas. Uh, Benedini, I believe it's called. Benedini TBS Mini. It's a sweet little module. Tiny footprint. I got the mini version because I... Um, he has a bigger versions, but I got the mini because I didn't want to take up much space. So, oh, and this thing here is a 6 watt amplifier external. And that there's a 5 watt speaker, 8 ohms. So anyway... It's kind of loud. I think the amplifier is jacked up uh, uh, when it comes from Thomas at um, pretty close to 100, maybe 90 in volume. And um, so th in this little speaker, oh, so that's 6 watt, 6 watt amp, 5 watt speaker, so she's pretty rowdy. But anyway, here we go. This is what Fat Betty's going to sound like. I'll insert a picture of the truck here, you know, for um, so you can get a good feel for it. So this is where I'll probably be putting the speakers, probably under here, as tanks, or uh, fuel tanks or hydraulic tanks. I've got a choice of two speakers. This speaker here, 5 watts, 8 ohms, mono. Um, not sure where I'll put it yet, it could either go on the back here, sort of thing, or put it in the front here. But I want to keep this clear because I want to put a model um, engine in here. The other speaker I found, which I think is super cool, is this one here. Speaker each side, plays MP3s, and that looks like a tank. Right under there. And that's what the sound unit's going to be blasting out of. Yep. Um, I haven't played around with the other um, special sounds or selections like that at the moment. I'm just interested in the um, the vroom vroom. Uh, next thing I'm going to try is this little speaker here. It's got one there, one there. And this little baby, oh, I have a LiPo battery in here. And the reason I'm going to try this is because I can um, fit it. It looks a wee bit like a uh, square gas tank, eh? So I'm going to... Um, Give this one a crack next because this is self powered. What I'll do is I'll take the amplifier that I got from Thomas in Germany off here and um, plug directly into this little box, which is also an MP3 player and an FM radio, would you believe? So um, the truck can play music too if I can actually manage to get this bugger to fit. So I'll do that next. So with the magic of um, editing software. Okay, what I've done is I've plugged this little um, box unit in here. It's got a wee EQ and volume up and down and all that sort of hoo-ha. And it should look pretty sweet if I can get it to fit into the Fat Betty project. Uh, what I've done is I've moved the um, control over here because 
and I'll put it over here, I get this, um, there you go, interference. Oh, there you go, sweet. Alright, so, this is using the other speaker option that I got from JCar, and, um, yeah, I'll, I might actually adjust the volume, see if we can crank her up a bit. Anyway, here we go. it pretty good thus far she's plenty loud ma'am whether I use this little 6 uh, watt an external amplifier or whether I can use this um, box here undecided at this stage this here has its own built in battery like I said it's a uh, cell phone battery by the looks of it chargeable USB 5 volts this um, little external 6 watt amplifier it runs off 11 point I've got a 11.1 lipo for it uh, but I think it's rated anywhere between 6 and 15 volt input there are the specs there and like I say this is a, a Benedini I do believe is the pronunciation uh, one moment here it is yeah TBS Mini um, German site makes the sound uh, modules for tanks and aeroplanes and all that sort of thing. It is up to 40 watt external stereo amplifiers, which are for the uh, planes, which have got to be pretty loud, I expect, flying around up in the air. Um, tanks and um, has a larger uh, unit than this. And um, yeah, but like I say, I just wanted to go for the small uh, form factor stuff. So yeah. I'm looking forward to putting this in the truck when my bloody truck's finally finished. Yep. Cheers for watching, guys. One thing I didn't show you before, guys, is the um, the ability to select special sounds using the um, either a, a three-way switch or a joystick. I've got it set up to a joystick because, um, well, that's just why I did it. So uh, your first you flick it across to select your sound and then you turn the sound on by flicking it across the other way so take three still learning to drive the bus let's try this, ready Special sound selection. I like the brakes, I like the horn. I'm not so in love with the other stuff, probably won't use it for my truck. But 
you know, I can reset those sounds anyway, put in my own custom sounds. Cool, that's all. Oh, another thing I forgot to mention about this uh, sound unit in particular, oh actually I think it's the same with all of um, the Benedini sound units that he produces, is there's a, um, this, oops sorry, lost it, that little plug there, that is what that plugs into, that's a USB. This is um, so that you can plug it into your computer or laptop uh, and you can download software from um, his website and you can program this card with your own sound sets and custom sounds which is bloody awesome I reckon. So um, if I get another one of these for some other heavy machinery there's no shortage of heavy machinery around our city at the moment so excavator buckets clanking and uh, squeaky wheels and you name it man very cool very cool I'm quite excited about what we can do with this later on anyway babbling to excitable catch us later